Hey, today we're gonna to talk about the top three neighborhoods for young working professionals in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Let's hit it. Hey, welcome back to the Living in Coastal Virginia channel. My name is Dan Inman. If you're new to this, we cover everything live, work, play that has to do within the 757 or Hampton Roads or Tidewater area. We've decided to call it the Coastal Virginia channel. Um, if you do me a huge favor, smash that subscribe button. It'll uh, release the content to you on the two times a week that we do that. Do me a huge favor for my ego. Hit the little like button. Let me know I'm putting out content that you like. Uh, and as much as I love doing these videos, I'd love even more to help you with your real estate needs. All my information should be below or maybe right here. All right, top three neighborhoods for young working professionals. Let's roll. So you're looking at moving into the Virginia Beach area, uh, maybe you're a young working professional, maybe you, you just want that lifestyle, maybe being close to shopping or nightlife or that type of thing. So we're gonna kind of hit three neighborhoods I think are worth consideration. Um, one of them is going to be Aragon Village, right uh, north of the town center area. There is also a slight area right below town center. Uh, it's gonna kind of depend on what you're wanting. Um, south part is going to be mostly townhomes and condos. Uh, north part is gonna be mostly single family homes, lots of uh, brick ranches and that type of thing. It's going to be sitting right there in the median price range for the area, you know, two fifty to four hundred thousand um, dollars. Obviously, that's a big price range, so uh, it just depends on how nice or how much room you're going to need. But it's gonna give you access to a lot of what Town Center has to offer. There's a lot of employers that work in and out of the uh, of that area. Um, you've got access to lots of nightlife. I think the, what's it called, the Funny Bone, Sean? Yep. Uh, the Funny Bone Factory or Laugh Factory uh, there. Funny Bone Comedy Club. Funny Bone Comedy Club. Uh, you've got Ruth Chris Steakhouse, P.F. Chang's Cheesecake Factory. Uh, cold pressed is uh, like a juice bar and coffee place. It's fantastic to check out. You've got your normal REI, Target, uh, the mall. A few other maybe notable mentions for maybe high-end shopping. You've got the Lululemon shop there. You've got Anthropology, Pottery Barn are some, uh, some places that um, people love to go to. Uh, Yard House is a fantastic bar. Uh, if, again, if you're looking for that nightlife. Um, Town Center is just a, a kind of a thriving, what I would call the Virginia Beach town town. Virginia Beach doesn't have a real true downtown, but if you're looking for something, I need to be close to where I work. And then I also want access to uh, nightlife and bars and uh, restaurants. Uh, Aragon Village and just south of Town Center is gonna be a great option for you. Number two for me is gonna be Wolf Snare Plantation. Um, what you'll notice in the Hampton Roads area is that um, we have tons and tons of like really small, small, small neighborhoods uh, or like uh, sub uh, little kind of pockets of suburbs. So I may end up referencing more than one location because um, the neighborhood might be small. But Wolf Snare Plantation is gonna be tucked into the lower part 
of the Great Neck area just north of Hilltop. Reason I think that this could be a great fit, um, again, is it puts you in a uh, well-established neighborhood in one of the best school districts in the area. You're very close to shopping. You're maybe, I don't know, Sean, what, 10 minutes from the beach there. Uh, you could go to Chicks Beach in, at 12 minutes, the Oceanfront in 10 minutes. Uh, Hilltop is going to be literally five minutes away. You've got a huge range of shopping. You've got, I think, Whole Foods is right there. Trader Joe's is right there. There are plenty of bars. Colbert, Colbert, Colbert Bar and Grill uh, is a fantastic place to get something to eat. Um, they have a couple uh, small re Mexican restaurants. I think I've mentioned, um, what's it called? Uh, what's the, the fondue dipping place called, Sean? Melting Pot. Melting Pot, dude. Is, um, if you've never been to a fondue place, it's definitely worth the experience. Um, they definitely, it's more, it feels like you're being overcharged just to dip things in cheese, but it's so freaking delicious. They bring to this thing to your, your table and you have like meats and cheeses and pretzels and stuff like that you dip in cheese. And then you can do like the dessert version where they bring chocolate and you can do that as well. Uh, I've taken, I've done, I don't know, maybe three date nights there with my wife, fantastic experience. Uh, let's see what else we got over there. We've got Taylor Do It Yourself Center, so if you're into doing home projects. Um, but uh, the other thing I really like about the area is it's a very established neighborhood. So, um, you know, a lot of times when they go through and they create a neighborhood, they'll do what's called clear cutting, which means that they knock down all of the trees because it's just much easier to develop in an area with not having to navigate all through the old trees. Uh, well, um, when they did that in the area, it was a long time ago, so the trees have had time to grow up and you've got a lot of, like if you look on the map, you'll see from the satellite, the, the greenness of that area in comparison to maybe some others. Maybe a few other notable mentions might be the Wasserhund, Wasserhund, Wasser, if I'm mispronouncing that, I really apologize, but Wasserhund Brewing Company. Uh, you have, um, what's the other one I'm thinking of? Uh, Butcher Sun, which is a huge uh, attraction for our area. Uh, you've got Taste Unlimited right next to a fantastic um, coffee shop. And then uh, obviously one of my absolute favorites of all time, Chipotle. You're probably gonna mention them in every single video. Rolling on to number three is going to be Windsor Woods, or um, the neighborhoods are basically just surrounding Mount Trashmore. Uh, there are plenty of uh, townhome options here and single family home options. The main reason I picked this is because uh, Mount Trashmore is a big attraction for people to go for fitness, hiking, there's a park there for kids. You are really close to Town Center. You're almost basically split between Town Center and uh, the Lynn Haven Mall area. And the nice thing about Lynn Haven Mall is there's tons, there's a huge industrial park there, like Stills, an, an enormous uh, employer of the area. Uh, there's um, finance sector, real estate sector, uh, a lot of manufacturing, uh, printing, home goods. I think there's a really large granite shop that's over there. Um, now, Lynn Haven Mall really is going to have less of the bespoke or one-off places or the, the small businesses, but you have, you know, you're know you going to have uh, Olive Garden, Carrabba's, Five Guys, uh, and no, no hating on there. I waited tables at Olive Garden for almost an entire year. Um, but if you're into the small kind of uh, bespoke one-off places, Hilltop or Town Center is probably going to be a better bet for you. The other thing I like about this area is probably the, one of the better um, entry price points. So uh, if you're looking to buy your first home or town home, it's gonna be the most affordable in that area. Uh, and yet you're still only 15 minutes from the beach. You're 10 minutes from Lynn Haven, 10 minutes from town, uh, town center, maybe 15 minutes from Norfolk International Airport if you do a lot of traveling, um, or if you need to hop on 64 or 264 to get over one of the bridges if you weren't actually out of Virginia Beach.
So, hey, that's my top three neighborhoods for young working professionals or anyone who just really wants access to beaches and maybe nightlife. Um, I, there's, there's quite a few more that I think that are worth mentioning, Chicks Beach in particular, uh, but we'll hit that in another video, maybe with um, the small neighborhoods that are close access to the beach. Uh, did it say anything here that you disagree with? Are there any of them that you thought shouldn't have made that list? Let me know down in below in the comments. Um, if you do me a huge favor, hit that like button, lets me know I'm putting out the content that you like. And if you wanna see more like this, you can hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification. And as much as I love making these videos, I love even more to help you with your real estate needs. I work in the real estate side, my wife works on the mortgage side, and we work together as a team many much of the time, many much, many much of the time to, uh, to make the process nice and smooth, unlike how I'm talking right now. So uh, until next time, thanks for paying attention and I'll see you later.